It's just to 5,000. <clears throat> Finally got the uh, Brindley plow on a 682. I uh, just tried it out. Um, this is my first time ever using a moldboard plow in the rear. Um, my 70 I had, I just had it on there. I never actually got to use it because it sold before I uh, had a chance. <laughs> but uh, I, I think I got it set up decent. I'm not really sure. Like I said, I've, I've never had one. Um, and the rows don't look too bad. I mean, there's, there is some big rocks in here. I did snag some. There's bricks. I mean, this is all just crap anyway. Um, and then over there is like stone. I don't know. It's like half inch stone. But, um, as far as, uh, getting down there where I wanted it, I think this is okay. I went, went down at least five inches, I think, uh, what I set up the Brindley for. Um, and I didn't want to show the setting up of the plow because I'm not really sure exactly how, um, other than I've seen some pictures. Basically, you, you put the rear up on some blocks and you put the front end on, on some blocks. Um, I believe this is a 10 inch plow, so you could, you should do like half its, half of that. So, uh, you know, go, go up five inches on the, this front tire and rear tire and uh, you know cock it, <laughs> it kind of look like this if it was uh, you know you know up in the air um, and then uh, from there you basically just put the plow flat on the ground wherever it rides flat um, as far as the holes go it, it all depends on uh, I guess if you're pulling one direction more than the other uh, I put it right in the middle, you know, just initial setup. Um, but once you start, you know, you you do your first pass, and then you always ride these tires in that furrow you made. That way, the uh, plow actually comes out square with the ground. You can see right now it's cocked, and uh, that's that's how it's supposed to be. But uh, yeah, I got everything on the tractor. Um, I still got the hubcaps on. I'm gonna probably take them off and uh, put some wheel weights in the rear. Um, I didn't notice it needing any front up front weight up front. Um, I didn't notice it to, uh, you know, be pulling up in the air. And I caught some pretty decent uh, stones here or something. But like I said, this is all just kind of trash. There's not really that much good here. It is, uh, it is pretty wet too. So uh, that's probably why it looks so uh, hacky. But uh, this isn't sod. This is actually topsoil. It's dirty topsoil. Um, but anyway, that, that's this. Um, no, I don't have a coulter wheel on. I don't actually think you need it. Um, you might have a little bit of a ragged, uh, uh, furrow if you're doing sod without it. But, uh, I've seen a lot of people plow on videos and a lot of people don't even use it. They just, they just use the plow. Um, so anyway, I, uh. Did make a rear lift bar. This is the bar here. It's a one inch, it's solid. Um, I drilled a uh, half inch hole in it. I made it a little bit bigger, egged it out a little bit just to get this pin in. And then uh, I drilled a small hole in it for the uh, locking pin here, which I actually didn't peen over at all. Um, and then there's a, uh, let me uh, do this. Probably should have thought about that. There, that's all you need, just a little bit so it can't come out. Um, all these pins were on this Brindley adapter when I got it. I see one of these bars is a little tweaked, but that's how I got it. Um, as far as lifting this up with just a spring assist, not too bad. It, you still got to pull on it pretty good. But uh, the thing lifts up really high. Um, way higher than the uh, 70 did with the spring assist and... Uh, this the 82 series I, you don't actually don't need the hydraulic lift because like I said this isn't really that heavy unless you're gonna put weight way out here but uh, it seems to go right in the ground fine um, as far as I can tell and I got the uh, draft bolts there kind of tight they want to actually float but everyone else said to just snug them up a little bit um, I actually got a draft plate I didn't put that on though I figured I didn't need it um, got made a this 5.8 5 8 pin here, uh, solid, you know, stock. Um, 
The worst thing about buying one of the homemade eBay Brindley adapters is the, uh, the the tube here, whatever you want to call it, that goes. It's underneath the plow here. It's way thin, and the pin that they supply is only half inch in a, either a nine sixteenths uh, bore or whatever it is. And uh, this plow is flopping all around when uh, I had it on the 70. As of right now, it's actually really tight on the hitch. That's because everything here is Brindley, not uh, aftermarket. So uh, watch out when you're buying those because, like I said, they uh, they only give you like a half inch bolt for that. And this is a 5 8 solid rod that I made the uh, pin out of. And uh, you're probably going to have slop in there. And uh, it's going to affect how much higher it can lift. Like I said, right now, this is lifting like five inches up, um, which is really good for traveling. And uh, it'll go down into the ground, I, I think, at least five inches. Um, if there wasn't so many rocks, I bet the thing would do a lot better. But uh, as of right now, the, everything works. Um, it's not painted. As you can see, I didn't bother painting anything. I want to get this thing on here. And uh, got to turn the uh, garden before it gets too cold out it's uh, almost Christmas here and uh, yeah a few days away here but uh, wanted to get some video on this thing like I said I'm gonna yank the caps off and uh, put at least one set of uh, rear weights on I do have two sets so I might throw both of them on I gotta clean them up pretty good one of them's uh, came out of a fire a garage fire and uh, they're pretty toasted but they're not cracked or anything it's gonna clean all the crap off but uh, yeah for now um, we'll have some some weights on it for now and then uh, the caps I'm gonna take them off I don't want to scratch them up because uh, they will get scratched so uh, alright guys well I hope this helps anybody um, any questions I don't like I said I don't know a lot about setting up the Brindley plows um, I've got the booklet if uh, someone actually wanted me to email them uh, the pages or whatever to set it up, it's only like a one-page thing. I can uh, I can email you that. Just uh, comment and ask for my email, and uh, I'll get to it when I can. So, uh, alright, guys. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll get a video when I actually do the official garden. This is just a test run. So, uh, alright, we'll see you guys later.